Hey, fourth and fifth graders, it's Mr. Trom again coming to you with video number four. Uh, the video we're doing today is called Daily Exercise Challenge. Uh, the purpose of it is to help your different fitness exercises and also it helps incorporate these exercises into your daily life. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to list a bunch of different activities that you might do during a day and I'm going to associate an exercise with them. So every time you do something like that, you need to do an exercise. So first, if you're playing some kind of video game and you lose or have to restart, then you have to do five jumping jacks. Okay, so every time you lose a video game, have to restart it, five jumping jacks. If you are watching TV and a commercial comes on, or you have to pause it, or a new show's starting, you are gonna get down on the ground and do five mountain climbers. Okay, so you're just switching your feet back and forth like that. Um, anytime you're doing homework and you finish a homework assignment, maybe you're done with a math assignment or you finish English, um, you are going to do five push-ups every time you finish something. Uh, before you eat, okay, so it could be breakfast, lunch, dinner, it could be just run to the kitchen, grab a snack. Uh, before eating, you're going to do five sit-ups, okay, make sure your hands are on your shoulders, Bring your elbows up to your knees. You know, you might want to use a couch or something uh, to help you help yourself get up. Um, before you shower or bath, before you do that, you're going to run in place for 30 seconds. After your shower, since your muscles are, are all nice and warmed up, you're going to stretch. You're going to do a hamstring stretch. So just a regular toe touch. Okay, make sure those knees are straight. Um, not bending those knees, try to go down as far as you can. You don't have to necessarily touch your toes. But try to hold it for 20 seconds. Um, anytime you touch your face, you know, touching your face really spreads germs. So if you catch yourself touching your face, uh, you're going to do five squats. So your feet are about shoulder width apart. You bend down like you're sitting in a chair and come right back up. Um... If you're sitting around and you hear an animal outside, maybe a dog's barking, a bird's chirping, anytime you hear that, you're going to do five arm circles. Okay. Um, before you go to bed, you're going to do a butterfly stretch for 20 seconds. Okay. So butterfly stretch is you sitting on the ground, feet are together, push your elbows, uh, push your knees down with your elbows. Okay, and we're just going to hold it. We're not flapping our knees. Okay, so we're going to hold it for 20 seconds. So that is my list. Uh, you can go to the lesson page so you can see that list all written down because I'm sure it's tough to remember all the different activities and exercises associated with them. Um, you can also make different activities that you do a lot. Um, you can switch up the exercises. You can make them a little easier or harder depending on you. Maybe you want to do more push-ups or jumping jacks. Um, you know, maybe instead of doing a regular push-up, you want to do a reset push-up. Maybe that's a little easier. So where you go, your chest touches the ground and you come back up. Um, so go to that lessons page so you can see that all written out. Again, this helps incorporate fitness into your daily life. Um, also, you can write down those exercises. See how many times you do it. You know, five push-ups doesn't sound like a whole lot, but if you do it, you know, 10 times a day, that's 50 push-ups you did in one day. So maybe keep track to see how many different exercises you do throughout the day. And, you know, even though it might not seem a lot, like a lot, you're actually getting a lot of exercise in. Okay? Um, so have fun with that. Um, I'll see you next week for video five. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you guys.